Hi everyone, first of all, I am so sorry for not uploading for 4 weeks, it was completely because of my laziness. I feel guilty for those who kept cheering me up. Now I'm back and I appreciate for those who waited for me so long. Before moving on to today's topic, I want a question for international shogi players. If you go to my channel and click community, you will see my question, which is which type of piece is the most comfortable for you? I will really appreciate if you um, answer this question. Thank you for uh, 18 voters and so far I know that uh, one kanji is the simplest but the best one. Today I am going to talk about the difference between third and fourth farouk. In shogi, openings are divided into two groups, static rook and ranging rook. There are many kinds of ranging rook, but you might wonder how third farouk is different from fourth farouk. That's why I decided to make this video. Let's get started. First, I'm going to talk about third farouk. There are two types of third farouk. Normal third farouk and Ishida style. Normal one is Closing bishop's general line, therefore leaves a uh, classical opening. While well, um, on the other hand, Ishida style is a uh, is opening bishop's general line, therefore it might lead tense fight. Today I will focus on the normal one, and I will talk about Ishida style in other videos. First characteristic which Sorfer Rook has is that. It is well prepared for the opponent's surfer attack, since the rook is in sword file. Therefore, the opponent usually attacks force file like this. Um, this is called rapid pawn to four five rapid uh, attack, pawn four five rapid attack, and it is played very often. Of course, surfer rook has its countermeasures, but you cannot avoid this attack if you play Sir Farouk. Um, another characteristic which Sir Farouk has is that you can use your left silver in various ways 6-7 or 5-7. Uh, it broadens strategic possibilities so that I think it is very beneficial for Sir Farouk. Next, I'm going to talk about Fourth Farouk. It is often said that Fourth Farouk is a recommended opening for beginners. The reason is that it is well balanced in both attack and defense. All you have to do is making Mina Castle first and push Fourth Farouk's pawn to counter attack. You see how this pawn lets both Rook and Bishop active. And one advantage is that Force Rook is well prepared, prepared for opponent's force file attack since the Rook is in force file. Therefore, opponent usually attacks third file like this. Um, just like playing Surf Rook, you cannot avoid this kind of attack if you play force file, force file Rook. And however, the huge difference between Surfer Rook and Force Fire Rook is that Force Fire Rook has limited ways of using silver, only 6-7. Um, just like I said, Surfer Rook has two ways to use silver, 6-7, 5-7. So it means that strategic possibilities are limited compared to Sorferuk. And by the way, there's another type of Forsferuk, Bishop Exchange Forsferuk. It is opening Bishop's general line, so just like Ishida style. This is also a good option, so if you're interested, please let me know and I'll be happy to make videos about it. So in conclusion, 
Uh, three advantages of Surfer Rook are it is well prepared for surf, a sword fight attack and it has more ways of using Leaf Silver, which means more strategic possibilities. And it has another option, which is Ishida style. And one disadvantage of Surfer Rook is that uh, this strategy is weak for force fire attack. And three advantage, a uh, three advantage of force rook is that it is easy to play, and all you have to do is build, uh, making mini castle and pushing force fire spawn. And it is also well prepared for force force fire attack, and it has another option which is bishop exchange force fire rook. And two disadvantages of Force Rook is that um, this strategy is weak for Surf Attack and it has limited ways of using Left Silver, which means less tragic possibilities. Uh, lastly, for me, in my opinion, I recommend you play Surf Rook since it has more ways of using Left Silver. Um, Alright, that's it for today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and feel free to give me any feedback or questions. Thanks for watching and see you again.